Hello, welcome back to GOT. Today we're gonna to talk about the Pixel. We got the Pixel 10 Pro here and the 10 Pro Fold. I'm a little bit confused and concerned about the Pixel and their series phones and how they're doing their updates and features. Let me explain. So whether you're a bar phone owner or a foldable, they're both pretty much the same as far as Pixel goes. They both have the exact same software and updates, which of course is Android 16, with the most recent update coming out this week. Now with it, they've released some specific features to it, which I'm a little bit confused with those, haven't been able to get those work. Let's go over those real quick. You know, Google doesn't have the best hardware, of course, on their foldable. If you want the best hardware, you've got to go to the actual bar phone with the better cameras. But for this scenario, I'm gonna go ahead and use the fold just because we can get a, a larger image here for you. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen here as we go. So one of the big updates we have on this phone is actually comes with your messaging. And one of the things is if you get a large message, it's supposed to give you a summary of that message. So let's go ahead and send a message from this phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste a long message right here and I'm just gonna send it. Now I've got my messaging shut down on here. It's not supposedly, once it gets it, it's supposed to give me a summary of that message. You can see here, it's popped up here. My problem is I haven't been able to find where that summary is, okay? Here is my notifications. And is it a summary? It does not look like it. It looks like it's the actual full message here. Um, this is just the first paragraph, I guess. And then if you wanna open it up, you press this arrow and it opens up the full message as kind of a floating window. So it's interesting that you can see the whole message, but I'm not finding this summary that they're claiming that it does on long messages. So maybe that is something to come or that's a failure. Let me go see what happens if I shrink that down. Okay, it's over here on the side. Can I actually open up two apps now and have a floater? Look at that, I've got a floater, but can I move it? No, I can't do anything with it. Okay, it's just there. What a shame. How much would it have taken for Pixel to actually just add a floating capability to move it? I mean, I can shrink it down, put it on the side, but I can't float it. That's too bad. Now, another feature that they have on this is you can actually do this thing called remix photos inside the messages. So I've sent myself a bunch of photos here earlier, and these are of my granddaughter and her boyfriend. Really cute here. And what you do is you open up the photo here and here it is, it says remix. Okay, so you get a fun photo or a photo from people, you can send them a fun or funny photo back. So it was really in interesting is you hit remix right here and let's do with, it's the holiday time. So let's put a tacky Christmas sweater on them. So there you go. It's gonna go ahead and do its little AI thing and give them some tacky sweaters. Let's see if these really do come back tacky. Well, there we go. We've got one sweater and it's for her boyfriend, but it didn't give her a sweater. So that's interesting. That's, it only gave him an ugly sweater. Really good detail. If you look at that, that's really clear. So that's nice. And that's just from an iPhone photo that I got from her. So that's pretty interesting. But, you know, that's not unique to the Pixel, which I thought it would be. And that's where I'm concerned. You know, why is Pixel doing all these things, these features? You know, they're focusing on features and not hardware, but all these features are going to the other phones. So you get the same thing on the Honor Management B5. Check this out. Let's go ahead and open up messages and let's go up to where I actually have that photo. And got this right here floating too, just like you have on the Pixel phone. So let's go ahead and go right up here to the photo or have it on this phone. And let's see, let's go to the same photo. This one right here. You see, I've got the remix, just like it is on there. Let's go ahead and tell it to remix. And let's again, go with the tacky Christmas sweater right there. And let's see what happens here on the Honor Magic B5. And it looks like they're kind of taking about the same amount of time. It didn't happen very quick on the pixels. Doesn't seem to be happening very quick on the Honor Magic. Seems to go up to the web and back. Do the same thing here. We've got the same, just the sweater on him. Okay, I got another image open up on both of them. Let's go ahead and remix this just for fun. And let's see what happens on both these. 
And let's do a 90s theme here. There we go. 90s style. Let's go ahead and see what happens on both of them. And I like the fact that this gives you a larger image. It's a little small here on the pixel. Of course, when it's done, it should be larger. So what does this feature really do for you? Nothing. It's just something fancy to, you know, do for fun on the phone. But it really doesn't do anything. Interesting. Gives them both a different look. Let's go ahead and hit done on both of them. And let's uh, do a 90s and send that to each other here. And 90s. Send it. Okay. So here's the image on both of them. We've got the Honor Magic V5. It did, you know, kind of a, kept it in a dance theme. Kind of a dance theme over here on the Pixel. Although her boyfriend's just kind of standing still. But they both came out pretty good. Granddaughter's got white tennis shoes here. He's got different little sneakers. So they both have, took a different look at the uh, 90s theme. They actually put a, a car. They both put a, a barn or something in the background there. They got a little radio to dance to. She's just kind of dancing to nothing over here. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. So they did a really good job. It looks like the V5 kind of kept the same theme of the image, the original image. So now, even though I talked a bit of smack about that feature, you know, it's one of the best feature or only usable feature that I see that came out with this update. Now, there's other features, don't get me wrong, behind the scenes, like you could do some setting up of uh, priority contacts so that they come in with their messages and actually set up for emergency situations where you can have special priorities. So that's kind of a neat feature if that is something that you would use. It also has supposedly this summary feature when you it can summarize your text. But as you saw, I'm not able to do that just yet. Maybe it's something that's going to come into play a little bit later. I've tried all day long sending myself text, long text, to see if it would summarize it somewhere. Maybe I'm just getting it wrong and can't figure it out. I haven't seen anybody else actually demo it either. But according to the instructions, it's supposed to show up in your notifications. But all I'm seeing is the first paragraph just like I do with all my other phones. Now I know there's other features in the background on these phones that might have improved them on this last update, but I'm not really noticing them. I'm not really feeling the difference. If you do, let me know what those are. I definitely wanna notice them and feel them myself. But so far, just doing these AI things doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Now you wanna mark this date on your calendar or maybe yesterday on your calendar as a special date for all these phones. And I'll tell you that in just a moment. So as we know, the Pixel phones were the first ones to have uh, Android 16 officially, but that's because they were released with it. The Z Fold 7 actually, did it come out with Android 16? I guess it may have. So it may have been the first one that was officially released with it because it came out first. I'll have to check my dates. I don't know if the Pixel 10 Pro came out before the Z Fold or maybe they were around the same time. But anyway, we know that fix the Android 16 came out back in what was it, July? And then all other manufacturers kind of follow. And then last year, though, Samsung kind of failed us and it took them an extra almost a year for them to come out with Android 15. So Android 15 barely came out on the Z Fold 6 and the other Samsung devices. And then a month later, they came out with One UI 8 and Android 16. So this year, they did a little faster because, as a matter of fact, the camera that's filming this is a S22 Ultra, and it now has Android 16, which it just got the update. So along with that Android 16, so did all these others. In other words, we've got Android 16 on the two Pixels, came out with the phones, and then now on the Honor Magic V5, we have Magic OS 10, which is their updated OS, just moved from OS 9. And we can see right here, we scroll down, there is Android 16. And same thing here on the Vivo. The Vivo is at Origin 6, it just updated from 5. And of course, you can see there's Android 16. And of course, the Samsung Z Fold also having Android 16 with One UI 8. So everything on this table has Android 16. And <laughs> what's interesting is, they're getting these extra features that were coming out on the Pixel phones. So I'm wondering, again, what is making these phones unique? I know you all have answers for those, and that's what I want to hear from you. Let me know down in the comment, what 
makes the Pixel phones unique with their Android software to these other phones because you know that Samsung's got a ton of extras and features, even AI stuff that will beat out the Pixel. And I'm finding right here on the Honor Magic V5, I'm getting all those same AI features on it. As a matter of fact, some of them actually perform better on the Honor Magic V5 than on the Pixel. So again, tell me what separates these other than the look from all these other phones. Now again, don't get me wrong, I really do enjoy the Pixel and next to the Honor Magic V5, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold is my favorite other phone. As a matter of fact, it has my secondary SIM in it right now as I continue to get used to it and every day I get used to it more and I like it even more, but I still miss features that are on the Honor Magic V5. So I will not be able to commit to the Pixel Foldable this year. Now I've already done a full video on the Honor Magic V5 versus the Pixel 10 Pro Fold. If you wanna check that out, here it is right here. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I've got a lot of other videos of all these different phones battling each other. So you wanna check those out as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on further content. Till next time, have a wonderful day and God bless.